Want to combine the soothing feel of a salt soak with the fizzy fun of a bath bomb? Well, try out these vibrant pink salt bath bombs. I'm Maddie, and in today's episode, I'm gonna show you guys how to make them. Start by combining your dry ingredients together in a large mixing bowl, including the baking soda, citric acid powder, pink salt, and arrowroot powder. Now we can also add the colorant powder. I'm using a magenta lake that will be super vibrant in our bath bombs. It may not look like much now, but it will become much more colorful when we add in our liquid ingredients. Whisk those all together and put the mixing bowl aside for now. In a separate mixing beaker, combine the polysorbate 80 and fragrance oil. For my bath bombs, I've selected our fresh cut roses fragrance for this project, so we're gonna stir thoroughly using a stirring rod. Let's combine it all together now. Drizzle the liquid ingredients over all the dry ones and use gloved hands to work them all in. The mixture should be able to hold a clump in your hand and feel like wet sand. Now the mixture is ready to be packed into their molds. We're using traditional spherical bath bomb molds. So lightly sprinkle the mixture into each half of the mold, being sure to not pack either side in too much. Then firmly press the two halves together and voila! Look at our pretty pink bath bombs. To use, just toss one of these bad boys into the bath and watch them fizz away. Then you can enjoy a soothing salt soak as well. Each bomb costs us about a dollar to make, meaning they can be sold wholesale for two to four dollars and retail for six to ten dollars, depending on the fragrance and additives that you choose to use. Well, that wraps up yet another how-to. If you wanna see more videos just like this, hit that like button and subscribe so you never miss an update from our team. Oh, and ring that bell icon so you'll be the first to know when we post too. I'm Maddie and I'll catch you guys in the next video real soon. Bye.